Right everyone, Web Collector here. I thought I'd do a video on my Denix replicas that I own. I've got quite a few of these. I think I've got at least four of them. Uh, three of these um, pre nine, um, 1870s ones. A couple of modern ones. But these are my Colt Peacemaker Single Action Army revolvers, replicas. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you them so that if you was ever wanted to buy buy these, you'd sort of know what you was getting. Now, before even talking about them, I think they're alright for what they are. Uh, they're pretty decent, but I'll I'll show you sort of what you get. You can also buy these leather um, holsters, Western style holsters. I got these the same as I when I got one of these, which I'll explain that later anyway. But uh, here they are. This is the, like I said, this is the Colt Peacemaker Single Action Army, designed and made by Samuel Colt in the 1870s. I think this was made 1873. You know the originals. Five and a half inch barrel. I think this one was. Let's have a quick look. Four and a half inch barrel. So yeah, I for what you get, I think they're good. Their single action means that when you pull the trigger, nothing happens. You have to cock the hammer back to be able to shoot them. And these have completely blocked barrels. If you look down the barrel in light, they've got a sort of little thing in the end that looks like the end of a bullet and when you get these they won't have these in I what I did because I didn't like the look of the empty chambers I glued in some ball bearings to look like the ends of bullets and I think they look quite good that's not normal though I think I've done it on both of mine yeah but you wouldn't get that when you buy these they do not have those in it's just empty chambers can't remember if they go all the way through. Something else I've done to mine, just because I think it adds a little bit of an extra element to it, I've noticed that 8mm blanks that have already been shot fit perfectly into the chambers. So that way you can mess around, you know, loading and unloading. jammed at the minute they're not really the right size but uh, if you wanted to just put something in those will fit in the chamber to put them in you open this little gateway here and then they just pop in uh, they this doesn't always stay open on all of them you'll notice with this one it doesn't stay open, it's not tight enough. There may be a screw you can tighten. I've never really looked. But that may require taking the gun apart. But you would just put your inner cartridges in like that. The gun belt comes with some, but they're massively too big. They don't fit in these at all. So that is how you'd put them in if you wanted to. Again, they don't come with the gun. And then you would eject the cartridges by pressing this lever and it presses a rod down into the chambers now without the ball bearings glued in you can do that you can press the rod right the way down like I said I never like the look of the empty chambers so I just put the ball bearings in but that, that now means that you can't put the ejector rod right down, that would normally go right down and a rod would come through the chambers but that is something I did to mine you can just see it there, see it? just there and that would go through the chambers and sort of to there now single action like I mentioned so that's the only way they'll fire you can half cock it and then the chamber will turn freely. Although 
saying that, it does now anyway. And you can see every time you uh, rock it, the chamber does turn. And they're around about 55 quid, I think. Uh, which I think is alright for this kind of thing. I got two, but that wasn't deliberate. I was supposed to be getting a... I wanted a black one and a silver one. A silver version. But they didn't have the silver version, so they sent me a black one instead, and I already had one. But I didn't complain. I just because I think they knocked a bit of money off. I got mine originally from Range Right Limited years ago. But yeah, I think for what they are, they're quite good. The good little wall hangers, or you know, just play around with, mess around with. Good enough quality for that. You can see over the years the. Black has come off slightly, but not enough to bother you. You could just probably put that back on with a bit of paint or a marker pen. I don't know, black marker pen, permanent marker pens cover, cover things like that really well. Don't know what the wood is on the handles, but uh, it's comfortable enough, looks good. Yeah, as for the uh, holster, this came from Range Right Limited as well. You get some of these inner cartridges, but they're way too big and massively oversized for the gun. They may be the real size that gun would have used, for all I know. Yeah, it says 45 Colt on it. I don't know if you'll be able to read that or not. It does actually say 45 Colt on it, but the chambers on these are tiny. They'll only fit around about a, like I said, an 8mm used blank. But this, this uh, holster's real leather, so... That was a good little bonus. There's your buckle. Yeah, no, I don't know if anyone even sells these now. They may do, I assume they probably do. But I thought this was alright for what it was again. No idea what the price was. Did used to have a leather thong thing, but I've used that for a knife. So I've just put paracord in for today. But yeah, they fit in well. Fits the guns well. And uh, it fits the other, the Confederate Army revolver as well, fits in good, fits in perfectly. Yeah, you know, not a lot to say really, it's just I just thought I'd do a general sort of review on these cult peacemakers. So that if you were ever buying one, you'd know what you was getting. Quality, I think, is good for the price realistic weight you know they're exact replicas they're one to one replicas the only thing is obviously the, bar the barrels are blocked and I think they're deliberately designed a funny sized chambers so that you can't try and put uh, bullets in although well, I was going to say there's no hole for the hammer but there actually is but the, the barrel is like nothing, and these are made from metal that you can't, you wouldn't be able to convert these anyway. They're made of like metal that would just break straight away. Hammer doesn't have a pin on it. But yeah, I think they're good for what they are. Very good display pieces, and if I ever get around to doing my gun board again, I will put them back on on there. Yeah, Denix Replicas, Colt Peacemaker, Single Action Army Revolvers, well worth buying, about 55 quid around, you could probably get them cheaper if you look around enough. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, I found it helpful, I know there wasn't a lot of detail really to it, but you know, at least you, at least you would have an idea of what you're getting now. Right. Don't forget to visit my blog, links will be below. See you later. Right, before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.